Hello you, welcome to Geekism and welcome back to Frostpunk where I believe we're sort of heading into the final section now. Uh, we're going to play some more storage down first of all. My god, you need a lot of this. Uh, first of all, if you enjoy the video, please let me know by clicking on that like button. And if you're new here and you'd like to see more creative gaming for grown-ups, make sure you click subscribe. Okay, I'm going to throw six of those down just to really help our uh, coal numbers out a bit. Flying Hunter's gear is researched in there. They'll bring in a bit more of that. Uh, so let's get something else researched. So, I feel like um, we're doing faster outpost teams. That I mean, that is a big one, isn't it? Um, that is a big one. Let's instead go for the medical, because the one thing we really haven't done much of at the moment is uh, medical care. So this one, infirmary, uh, is a steam-heated infantry with 10 beds, the sick are treated faster than in a medical post, and the gravely ill can be treated safely and reliably. So we can start that. We're going to have no more amputees, although we do have eight of them. Um, so at some point, we're going to need to do factories so we can build uh, prostheses. Prostheses? That was that um, prequel to Alien, wasn't it? Uh, why is there only 14 people 14 people working there? There we go. We just need to empty that, basically. 112 left. Um, and... Hold on, gather... Oh, no. Yeah, your, re your story's there. That's fine. Gathering and gathering. Efficiency's at zero. Uh, it's because we're closed. Okay, good. Temperature-wise, like I say, we're doing all right. Um, these are going to get a bit chilly. <laughs> uh, where is our auto automaton? I was going to say, where is our automaton? Hold on a minute. Where's our automaton? Have I completely not realised that our automaton's not here? Right. Oh no, there he is. So where is he? Oh, he's just hanging out on the side. Look, I thought he popped up along the side here when we got him. Uh, okay, well, there he is. Uh, he's working on um, a really warm steelworks. Why is that steelworks so warm and that one isn't? Do you know what? I'm going to take him off that. Um, and I'm going to put him on something that we can't warm up, like a coal mine over here. All right, so I'm going to take off all of you, stick an automaton on it. And instead, put you guys on here. No, because you've gone to Chile now. Are they warm? Oh, was it warm because the automaton was on it? Okay, well, either way, I think coal through the night is probably better than steel through the night. Um, yeah, we're struggling with people being sick. Okay, so I think we, st we just never did steam hubs, did we? I know we probably should have done, but we just never did them. Just to kind of put them on the outskirts here, I feel like it's probably the way to go. So let's, um, let's open up this coal a little bit more as these get built. Because we're coming ever so closer to coal again. Coal. Oops. Coal. Coal. That gives us a good chunk. And then we'll have a couple more food rations. Just because we are going to need them as we go. Um, although. You know. We're, we're, this number isn't going up as quick as I would like. To be honest with you. So um, we still need to look at doing. Uh, um. Where is it? We never got it. We never got it open. There's a, there's a farm basically. We can build a farm, but we now have out here. We've got fishing village. Is that you? Is it delivering a hundred raw food? Yeah. So we've got food coming in from there. We've got coal coming in from there. These guys are just having a little funky look about. Um. So I f I feel like we're not doing too bad. And also we're in the middle of the night. So in a moment you'll see all the raw food come in. Uh, oh hello. Um, we couldn't let the Londoners leave. Okay, so there's the Londoners gone. All right, good stuff. If they'd have left, they would have died. We all stay together. No more div division. We are one society. Good. Okay, that's gone well. Um, I feel like that has gone well. Good. The, the Londoners are no more. We have won. Um, we won't be divided. Together, we're stronger. Good stuff. Okay. Yeah, sickness is definitely the issue at the moment, though. Um, scouts have reached Dreadmoor Landing. There we go. What do we find here? Just some stuff. Okay, well, let's take it then. Light to the south. Um, let's do a couple. Let's just do a couple more before we head back. I do want to get that steam, those steam cores back because they're going to be useful for a few different things, to be honest, because these infirmaries use them. 
that we're opening up here, you see. Um, only one, so we can build like three of these before it's a problem, so that's not, that's not an issue. Um, we can do a book of law soon as well. Why are you cold? Ah, no, okay, so here's that, here's that chilly, chilly, chilly. So first of all, let's get you up to steam level two. Okay. That drops us all to chilly. Does it stay at chilly? Okay, let's go up to steam level three then. And that drops us up to livable. All right, good. Unfortunately, it does mean that the uh, the outside bits are a bit chilly. But I don't think any of them are... Oh, there, see, some of them are cold, although they're hunter's hangers, so that's not a major problem. Sawmill, I mean, we could probably close you. Hunter's hangers, we have no problem with those being cold. We, we can warm this up. Fortunately, it keeps those at... Ch no, see, they're freezing now. Oh, no, the resource depots are freezing. Uh, infirmary research. Let's get these steam hubs going, because we know what they do. They do what they need to do, and they're good at doing it. Okay, so now, with that in mind, we'll get some infirmaries open. Just a couple, I think. Um... One. Let's do, let's do two. Unfortunately, we need that fourth upgrade before these really um, start to do well. But hopefully, it's enough. Let's build in um, the the path going to these. And again. Okay, so that will hopefully call, stop the thingy being a bit. Now, who who are freezing? Um, going home, yeah, you go home and, and warm up a bit, all right? Uh, losing a limb. Consider signing the care house or prosthetics law. Yeah, we're going to do the prosthetics law, I think. Yeah, we want those. Uh, Blueprints, prosthetics available in the factory. So we need to build the factory and that. I think it needs to be done because we've got more and more people that are well, kind of useless, to be honest with you. So we're gonna um, we're gonna go ahead and do that in six hours. Good. Um, and then we'll do the oh hello. Do less harm. A doctor wants to talk to you about improving radical treatment. I was a field surgeon in the Boer War and worked with the Royal Society to reduce the limb loss in army hospitals. I believe I can devise a method that will cut the number of amputees, dur amputees during radical treatments. Um. Yeah, go on then. This will be the guy... In the last one, it was all about robbing a steam core, wasn't it, this guy? So it's a similar sort of story, I guess. He goes off and does his own thing. And in return, we uh, hope to have good stuff. Okay, so now we have that open. We're going to research... Well, we need that doing, don't we? We just need that doing. Um, 150 wood. Yeah, see, do you know what? We can do it. We can do it and we can get it done and then we know it's done and then that's it then that's a, we can't build past this area so we now have steam hubs available um i don't believe these use no it's just 20 steel which is great uh, which means we can drop one of you there um we can drop we don't need one there they're hangers we can drop one of you over here um like that. It's a bit funky that it's in the middle because we've already got these things in the middle, but we can do one of those there as well. Um, and we could probably do with one there just for now. And for some reason, this there's a cookhouse here that's just freezing. And I don't really know why. So we're going to put you there as well. Okay, so they, they're good. They're going to start drinking coal a little bit, but I, think, I feel like we're doing alright for coal. We're also going to start warming up just a little in a moment as well so um, that's open now the infirmary we need engineers so where have we got engineers that we can steal because we've only got workers free I looks things there's engineers so we can go to none there max there and then we can put all our engineers over here in the infirmary now there's going to be nobody ill for the foreseeable future um, must be at least chilly so hopefully once this steam goes up there there we go. We should start to see all of these now get spread out. It's basically a way of extending it. Okay, and then hopefully the uh, the ones out here will go well as well. Let's speed it up a little bit until they get built. We'll see them get built. There we go. 
Oh, yeah. Look at that. I mean, we built two there. We don't really need it. For some reason, this cookhouse, I can only assume it's because it's empty. Yeah, it's because there's nobody in it. That's why it's cold. So let's just get rid of you. You're going to go. Now, this one, you only need to be on in the workday. So between 8 and 6. Yeah, you only need to be on while people are in work. And the same as this one over here. You only need to be on while people are in work. Uh, whoop, hello. And where else did we put one of those? Over here. You only need to be on while people are in work. Because, um, yeah, it's just a waste of fuel otherwise. I don't. Is that new? I don't remember being able to do that before. Why is this one building red hot here? What are you? Medical post. Cool down, buddy. See, it goes from chilly to red hot. I just don't understand that at all. And this one here, cookhouse, they're fine because they're they're turned off, so we understand those. Freezing, yeah, there's nobody in there, so that makes sense. Infirmary, let's warm you up a bit. Okay, everything else. Sawmill, that was the one we shut off, wasn't it? Yeah, okay. Alright, happy about all that then. Let's have a look. What did they find here at the research station? Uh, just stuff, okay, so take the stuff. Cave hideout, do we keep going, or do we start to head back? A lot of steam cores there that I would kind of like to get back. Yeah, let's get you back, um, because I really want to start working on some more funky stuff. Hello. Multiple problems. The cookhouse is too cold. Uh, requires raw food. So, yeah, I know about those problems then. Yeah, that's, that's fine. I don't know why it's got it like that, though. Two sick absentees. Well, they shouldn't last too long. Um, okay. Here, uh, House of Pleasure. I don't really feel like we need to worry about that. Um, the Dueling Lord. I think we need to worry about soup we can do, but I feel like we're doing okay for food. So I think, to be honest with you, um, yeah, I think, I think we've completely adapted. So everything we do now is probably going to be put into purpose. Um... Oh, actually, no, hold on. Uh, p p p a thingies. Um, did I do it? Amputees, what they're called. Radical treatments. Oh, why is it gone? Was it in purpose? Hmm, Where's, where oh where has amputees gone? It was definitely a law because we have to start this factory here. Plant where automations, automatons, excuse me, and other highly advanced devices can be produced. Um, did we, did we do it? Is that the point? Organ transplants. We have no interest in that, I guess, because we went down ceremony funerals instead. Radical treatment down goes down to triage. So where, oh where? Really hard to read sometimes this is, to be honest with you. The temple. Huh. I'm completely lost. Is there a way here we can find it? Let's have a look. Um, amputees. People may become amputees as a result of serious frostbite. So that just tells us about being amputees. Uh, let's have a look if there's a prosthesis bit. Hmm. Doesn't seem there is, do they? Ha! Huh, how strange. I'm, I know I'm. St I know I'm looking at it, and I know that people are screaming at me to find it, but I can't. I just can't see it. Adaptation. So, 
first things first, it will have been where we did um, health. So nothing there seems to be about health, does it? That's how we move it around. Okay, so care house. Here we go. Prosthetics. Sign. We can manufacture it to allow amputees to return to work again. That's fine, but um, until we've got this open, we can't. So, but we've got 13 people that are kind of useless there. So hopefully we'll help. Unexpected guests. Hello. Um, a group of exhausted survivors have reached our city. We will help them, of course. Um, remove, resolve the situation with the incoming refugees. Is this where there's like, they're just they're just going to turn up? Is that right? Is that these here? Yeah, refugees. Ouch. Okay, so... Okay, so priorities then are going to be that fourth ring because we're going to have to start building housing on them soon. Seriously, like, desperate for housing. So, let's get this... Um, now, we've thawed out a bit, so we could probably knock you down now, I guess. Oops. Just down to 50. Is that going to be okay to, to sit at level 2? Everything else is pretty damn warm, to be honest with you. If, if we can stay in livable here just to save on some coal, then I'm going to be pretty happy. Um, I'm happy to let it speed up because I want this to finish as well. So there we go, level 2. Level on level 1? No, level 2 it is. Okay, that's fine. Automatic prototyping. That means we can now do our final level, which is range upgrade uh, we have what we need for that 10 hours okay so let's get that done and then we'll start working on our bunk houses if yeah no bunk houses. I was gonna say we could do we could do uh, actual houses but I just don't think we're gonna be able to so let's do a row of these uh, one two three four not enough wood wow it's been a while since that's been a problem isn't it and uh, some wood Okay. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's for 70 people, so should be okay for a little while. Really, to be honest with you, we need to start finding things for them to, all to do. Uh, sawmill requires at least one set of workers. Yeah, so let's, let's get some people working in there in the morning. We're definitely going to have to look at doing... The uh, the next stage, which is the the wall thing, isn't it? So how close are we from that? Uh, generate upgrade. That's great. Uh, resources here. S wall drill. We're going. That's next. That has to be next because we're going to run out of wood otherwise. And we are still building wood because we need more houses, uh, and so on and so forth. We are going to cap out on coal again soon, which is good. So that gives us thirteen days. Awesome. Um. 20 wood we just can't do it so we'll do nine wood as far as we can go <laughs> uh, until morning at least now i hope are you no you're 100 wood okay so you're the you're the first load 50 quite a few of you oh wow five hours okay we've got a hell of a lot of people coming in here um let's get some resources Resource depot. What are we short on? It's just wood, isn't it? So come on, let's get this last bit of wood here. Okay, running from the storm. Hello, guys. A huge crowd of people has reached our city. Many of them are sick. They say that some kind of enormous weather anomaly is coming our way. Um, send them on their way. No, I, I'm not. Right, last time, the sick ones killed us. All right, they completely wiped us out. So I'm really sorry. Only the healthy ones. I know that's awful, but... I just... I really... You know, it is what it is. So heat-wise, these should be all in there now. Awesome. We can now pretty much do a full circle there without any problems. Can we... Do they stay warm if we knock them off? Alright, keep you up. Cookhouse everywhere in this inner circle does not chill it. There's a tent there! Oh my god, poor sod. Somebody is just living in a tent that we completely forgot to upgrade at some point. 
Uh, okay, so that's housing done for a little while. Um, we now have enough wood whoops, to finish off both this path, or road, whatever you want to call it. Okay, and then also we need to get this wall drill up and running. So let's do that. Wall drill start. Uh, and then that's going to give us our consistent supply of wood because we did have wood coming in a little while from an outpost uh, but unfortunately it just um, we, we shifted it to food instead and I, I feel that I, like that probably worked better we have a few patients we have a few people sick mostly amputees now so as soon as this wall drill's done we'll start working towards our factory um hello oh scouts have arrived with some lovely stuff okay um yeah, we're desperate for more more resources. It's pretty crazy. Um, there's it's going to be a tree. We'll leave that open for now because we really want that tree thing done. So one, two, three, four. Um, one, two, three, four. Because these they don't need to be warm though, so we can quite happily stick them out of the way. And as soon as they're built, we'll carry on making coal. Wall drill research, brilliant. So let's get one of those built. Wall drill. There we go. And next up, we want a uh, factory. Let's get these amputees fixed up, basically. Let's get them working again because they feel better for it. Um, I'm sure in the first game, I had a couple of people kill themselves because of it. It was pretty grim. Um, these are all going to be coal because, quite frankly, we need the, we need the storage. And I'm also tempted, actually, to make these two coal as well, and then these two to be food rations, which we're doing really well for now. We've almost doubled since the start of this episode, I think, or at least since the last time I looked um, on this episode. So max there, there's a hundred thousand wood there. So I don't think we're gonna um, we're gonna have any issues from wood anymore. Let's just finish off a little bit of sexy path in there. Um, I'll see what I will do actually, oops, sorry, is start bringing out a few more paths from here because people are having, a, having to walk around a lot to get to places I think because they stick to the paths and I wonder if it is such a such a noticeable uh, thing that they're, you know, peop you know, it's taking people longer to get to places because of it. So we'll do that as well. I really like this sort of spokes pattern. I mean, I know there's not really much else you can do with this game. Um, but yeah, I'm really enjoying how it's looking. Let's get the heating on there. I don't know whether it actually helps. It's, gone, it's very cold still. What is that? That's our wall drill, isn't it? Uh, I mean, it is the middle of the night. So it may just be that in the middle of the night it is cold. We'll turn the heat up there as well. Okay, come on. Let's get everyone to work. I really want to see whether or not it makes a difference. There we go. So they turn on. Everywhere gets nice and warm. The second wave is here. Uh, again, I'm sorry, but we just can't take people on as a bird. And hopes fell a little bit. Discontent is still in the nothing, so I'm okay with that. Um, one thing I want to think is, how is our faith going? Are, are there, Oh, hello. Are there plenty of people living where they need to? We've got now got um, prosthetic signed... Uh, Again, I think we're pretty much done there. Let's see if what some of these sort of extreme like, things are. So Temple goes up to Righteous Denunciation. Uh, protector of the Truth. Uh, new Ability. Our Faith Keepers will knock on every door to spread the word of our Captain and make sure it is obeyed. Discontent will fall. So Discontent rises in general, but then we have a, an ability to whack it down when we need to. So... Half me quite likes that. Um, half me quite likes the temple. Um, raises hope and comforts discontent. Discontent will occasionally fall slightly. Yeah, I, I think a temple is the way to go. That seems. To be, I, I've got a feeling this, this is going to say, oh yeah, and then this one, oh you're God now. But I genuinely think it's going to be like new religion basically, and I, I'm not some percent sure I like the idea of that. The last one ended up going very, uh, very crazy as well. So let's go back to faith the temple we can only build one so we're going to build it let's uh, let's do it a little bit nicer i mean i know it's ridiculous to want to do this but let's build it so it's 
looks a little bit better um, than just stuck in the middle of nowhere. Um, we'll bring that around like that, and then we'll 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 get it nice and warm as well. Take these up to there. And we'll put a steam hub in front of it. Uh, I think we'll need a steam hub, won't we? Yeah, so let's get a steam hub in front of it. Um, what do we go behind it? And then it opens that area for more stuff. Let's let's actually, let's go behind it. Let's put two down there, just because... I, I, know, I know it's probably not the most efficient, but come on. This is what we do here. We make stuff look a bit funky, all right? So just deal with it. Um, we couldn't get away down to one, could we? We need to get level four ready. How much does it drop there? Only one level, so we, we can manage one level. Quite well, actually, we can manage one level. Um, okay, is our factories nearly done? Factories nearly done. Factories are done. Okay, let's get a factory built. Um, let's have a look where's relatively warm if we can squeeze that oh that would have been so good just there look oh yeah it will yes it will good perfect okay and that's see even without our heater on we are livable in there now which is perfect for us so we'll get the uh, the paths already done that's great actually i don't think we can build a second one of those um i oh, know we can i'm tempted to get a second one of those built up so one of them can do amputees and one of them could do a big old uh uh, automaton. We've got 40 people out of work, so we have no problem with throwing some engineers in one of those. In fact, let's see if we can find some somewhere where there's engineers working that we can throw them out. Temple built. Okay, Hope Rises. Where is the temple? We built it up out of the way, didn't we? Oh, look at it. Five wrongdoers were inspired to mend their ways. Well, that's good, isn't it? Evening prayers, sermon, ceremonial service. A long ceremonial sermon will be delivered at the temple. Okay. Technology then. Um, now the factory's done. What does that do? Five less steel. Um, that really isn't an issue for us. 20 wood and 20 steel less. I mean, that could be useful. Improves the workplace integration of automatons, boosting their efficiency by 10%. Oh, that sounds more like it. First of all, let's just check. Outposts, they're doing fine. We have no problem with those. Resources. Um, steam war drill might help. Uh, brings in more wood, but... I don't know whether or not we're really struggling with wood. I mean, we've just built quite a lot, and we've still got a good sort of bank of it. Not much, but enough, you know. I wonder whether it's worth just getting the heating generator power upgrade done ready. Uh, yeah, I think it is. And then we have to work on overdrive couplings for when we really need to kick it up a notch um, in a little while. One level. We need to get this third lot of refugees in first, and then and then that happens, I'm pretty sure. Okay. We're looking all right. Temp-wise, we're looking okay. Got plenty to build, plenty of space to build with. They only come on in the daytime, so they're not wasting any coal in the day and we're still ticking up with coal so that's pretty good pretty happy with that as soon as these factories are done there we go we're gonna get uh, oh good we've got 10 engineers and we can get both of those going already so you need to build us 13 uh, prostheses um, what? 13 all right so you get started on them you're gonna build us an automaton 100 steel 100 wood 50 coal and a steam core Okay, so, yeah, let's get two of them bad boys going, why not? Uh, oh, oh, it's okay, free time. I, d I wish it wouldn't say that these things have got something wrong with them at free time, because I feel like it's a bit of a, a, a bit of a, then it's not, it's just closed, it's just shut for the night, you know. Where are you? Oh, you came back, we've got more refugees coming, transport's coming in, so we can head over this way. Um, or we can head over this way. Let's go to this side. Let's go to the cave hideout. Three days, seven hours. Two days, 22. Let's go that one first, and then we'll head that way. Oops. Didn't mean to do that. Okay. And... I feel like that was the right thing to do. So, 
Yes, you're making automatons. Uh, sorry, amputee prostheses. There we go. So let's get into the daytime. I want to see how quick these get churned out. Is it one a day? Is it one every few hours? Um, it just doesn't say, does it? Let's have a look. Come on. Get into the morning. Uh, and everyone's in work. The third wave. Okay. Uh, only the healthy ones. Yeah. Sorry. What looms ahead? Okay, here we go. Sir, now we can clearly see the refugees are running from. The great frost is coming. We have to prepare. Our scientists say they can calculate the severity of the storm from observations. They just need a day or two to prepare their instruments and install them in the beacon. Okay, so that's where we research our new special lens thing, which we will do as soon as this finishes. Okay, so yeah, we're heading towards the... Uh, the big finish now, aren't we? Let's get these zoomed in. Okay, so one... Uh, oh, it's like one an hour. That's pretty good, actually. Okay, like one an hour. Everything else still seems like it's coming in thick and fast. The automaton's built. So, let's get you on... I think, I think it's coal. I really do. I think coal is the way to go. So, here is steel. Um, here is coal. So we're going to take you off there and put you on, okay, which in turn means we can pretty much, let's have a look at the heat, both of those can be cold now and we can get rid of all the you. We're going to try and be really, really sort of cost effective here. So this, this building here can be took off, as can you, because nobody actually works there anymore, as can you and that's a cold area now but these are all resource depots they can be freezing automatons run though run the coal industry now coal coal industry is run by automatons so um sawmill do we have people working in that sawmill inoperative no gatherable resources okay so you can go as well here we've got a thumper. You're doing all right, aren't you? And you're a pretty decent temp as well. So one thing I think we can do here is the people who are working this. Uh, yeah, you're not working it. Okay, that's good. But these ones are. You're both working, aren't you? Okay, so I feel like we've got decent supplies. It still seems like food could be going a lot quicker so let's get a new set of hunters hangers going let's come over to here where the old where the old um, sawmill was and get a few of these up and running so one two three and then we'll put some food storage around you ready um, one Oh, I'll have another one of those, thank you. Oh, no, we can't. What do we need? A little bit of wood. Okay, speed through. There we go. It's a bit more wood than that. Free time, never mind. Okay, we'll, uh, we'll do the uh, uh, paths instead. Okay. And we have a nice little pattern there now. And that'll get quite a few people out there getting food because that's really what it's all about now is stockpiling food so you are a hunter's hanger maximum workers there thank you uh, hunter's hanger maximum there maximum up there yeah good and you are going to be food rations and then as soon as we've got the uh, you're off as well that's good and you're off as well good stuff okay tech tree then uh, overdrive couplings. I know we need those. Usually allows us to raise temperature of all heat zones by two when the generator is put into overdrive. I know that we need that because it's a it's a thing that we have to research later on. I, I remember. I remember. Oh, look at the cathedral. That looks awesome. I'm going to screenshot that. Oh, yeah. Okay, cool. Right, I think we're going to have to leave it there. We are definitely pushing towards the end. We have no research coming, so let's just quickly think. Um, efficiency upgrade? Well, what about something more to do with food and safety? I mean, we could look at turning everything into a house. Comfortable zone with 10 people, well protected from the weather. 
but we just need a few bits of wood. All right, we'll decide next video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please give us a like. It really does help out the channel. And if you're not already, don't forget to subscribe. Any uh, thoughts, queries, or suggestions, you can pop those down in the comments. And if you fancy a chat, you can find me on Twitter. I'm at John T. Sparrow. If you'd like to join in with the Geekism community, you can do so over on our Geekism Discord server. You'll find the link for that in the description. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.